Percent equations, hooray! Joshua the singer wants to know what percentage of his songs are hits. Going through his songs, he finds seven hits and 21 that did not become hits. What percentage of his songs are hits? That's not a terrible hit ratio, to be honest. Seven are hits. The total is seven plus 21. which is 7 over 28, which is 1 fourth. And now to find that percent, we'll take 1 fourth times 100. And we'll get 25%. You probably ballpark that in your head, about a quarter, right? About a quarter of Joshua's songs were hits. I wonder if this is Joshua Groban. In a recent dinosaur dig, it was found that 14 of the bones were from hadrosaurs, while 21 of the bones were from ceratopsians. I'm sorry, guys. You know more about dinosaurs than me. What percentage of the, the bones were from hadrosaurs? Okay, so we've got 14 divided by... 14, the total, right, the, the part you care about divided by the total, 14 plus 21, which is equal to 14 over 35. Now, this simplifies. We can divide the top by 7 and get 2. We can divide the bottom by 7 and get 5. So this will give us 2 over 5. And then to find percent, we just multiply by 100. And this will give us 40. 2 times 20 is 40. So we'll end up with 40%. After a month of successful fundraising, Anna and her classmates voted on whether to donate the money they had raised to hunger relief or to environmental causes. Of the votes received, 17 were for hunger relief and 3 for were environmental causes. What percentage of the votes were for hunger relief? Okay, so hunger relief over hunger relief plus environmental causes. It's tough. That's a tough decision, right? That's 17 divided by 20. So 17 divided by 20 times 100 will give us 85%. So a, a vast majority voted for hunger relief. 85%. Kevin lives on a farm and has two bulls and six cows. What percentage of the bovine population is bulls? Okay, so that's a fun that's a fun word. That's just cows and bulls. So what percentage is bulls? So we take the two and we divide by two plus six. And we get two divided by eight which is just 1 over 4. And we take 1 over 4 times 100 over 1, which will give us 25. So 25% are bulls. Of Madison's friends, 1 is male and 24 are female. What percentage of Madison's friends are males? Okay. So 1 over 1 plus 24, which equals 1 over 25. So that'll give you 100 times 1 over 25, which will give you 
four. So only 4% of Madison's friends are male. It's a very small number. Matilda lives on a farm and has 20 bulls and five cows. What percentage of the bovine population is bulls? Oh, so this time we have way more bulls than cows. So 20 divided by 25. I'll do a trick. When the denominator is 25, you can go ahead and just multiply by 4, right? If you times 4 here, you times 4 here, you get 80 over 100, which is 80%. Addison the singer wants to know what percentage of her songs are hits. Going through her songs, she finds one hit and 19 that didn't become hits. What percentage of her songs are hits? She should take lessons from Joshua. One over one plus 19 is one over 20. And I'll do this other trick again. I could multiply by 100 and get five, but you could also, yeah, let, let me just do that. Let me stay consistent. One over 20 times 100 equals five. So only five percentage of her songs are hits. Again, I guess all you really need is a couple hits. Of Abigail's friends, 19 are male and 6 are female. What percentage of Abigail's friends are male? All right, so we've got 19 over 19 plus 6, which is 19 over 25. Can multiply, I'll leave the 19 over 25. I'll multiply by 100. That'll give me a 4 here, which will give me 76. So 76% of Abigail's friends are male. After months of successful fundraising, Avery and her classmates voted on whether to donate, donate the money they had raised to hunger relief or to environmental causes. Of the votes received, 20 were for hunger and 5 were for environmental causes. What percentage of the votes were for hunger relief? So now you have 20 over 20 plus 5, which is 25. I'll go ahead and multiply by 100, which will give us 80%. So 80% of the votes were for hunger relief. Out of a poll of Benjamin's friends, 11 play video games while 14 do not. What percentage of his friends play video games? So 11 divided by 11 plus 14 equals 11 divided by 25. And then we have 11 divided by 25 times 100. Put that off to the side is 44%. So 44% of his friends play video games. All right, don't you play too many video games. Do a little, unless those video games involve math. So have a great one and I'll see you next time.